Hi everyone, it's Sheila and happy Sunday to you. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I am going to share with you all all the items that I purchased at Sephora during the VIB sale. So I am super excited about that. Um, it is Spurs Sunday, by the way. So if you are a Spurs fan, go Spurs, go. I am not wearing my Spurs colors and clothing. I am wearing a white tank top. That's probably about the closest I can get to it today. I am so, so sorry. But I am wearing my Spurs bracelets. And on my eyes, I am wearing silver, black, and white um, to represent my Spurs. And my uh, eyeshadow is all compliments of the Vizart, Vizart, however you say it, eyeshadow palette. It is the matte one. Oh my goodness, best $80 I've ever spent because I did not get it on the Sephora VIB, but that's okay. I love it. It was an $80 well spent, although I was scared out of my mind thinking I was crazy to spend the $80, but I did and I'm so happy that I did. Another video on that to come in the near future. So I am going to move right along and share with you some of the things that I got from the VIB sale. I am going to start off with the things that were... Um, necessities, things that I was going to replace or ready to replace or about to replace in the near future to some of those things that I was going to be transitioning into in some form or another, just didn't know when or what. And then to those things that were just all in out freaking splurges that I just said, you know, heck with it. I want it. I'm going to get it. So I do have a few of those things as well. And also I even have a gift in there that was given to me pre-time um, because I wanted, again, to take advantage of the, um, the uh, Sephora VIP sale. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you is going to, oops, is going to be um, an eyeliner, which is no, I mean, it's not anything new. Everyone talks about it. It's been around for a while and I'm always wearing it. It is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil. Freaking amazing. Love it. I have the color of a version. It's on my eyes right now. And by the way, I think I have on everything that I'm going to speak of in some form or another today. So yeah. So moving right along, um, the next thing that I got is a, a concealer. I am wearing it underneath my eyes right now. I was in the market. Um, my concealer was just about out when my little, the wand or the little brush part of the wand broke off of my Estee Lauder double wear one that I've worn for years that I love. I find it to be amazing for me and my under eyes, but I've been seeing so much hype on the NARS and this is called, the, it's actually the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So much hype on YouTube about this. I decided I was going to try it, put it on my eyes in the store, felt like oh my goodness, this might be a good thing. So I went on and purchased it, have worn it ever since I got it. Love it. Again, have it underneath my eyes right now. So I think this is going to be my new love. I have the color caramel. Works perfectly. Gives me a little bit of brightness underneath my eyes, but not so much to where I look like, you know, like totally scary or anything. So love it. Doesn't crease underneath my eyes. Ah, oh, love it, love it, love it. Can I say love it one more time? <laughs> and the next thing that I got, last summer I did, a lot of nudes. I don't know. I was just into the nudes, just wanting to wear nudes. It was a transition for me <clears throat> because I'd always worn a lot of color on my lips. And I do love my nudes. In fact, <clears throat> excuse me, I had on my nudes yesterday. I am going to take a sip of my Starbucks coffee. And by the way, this is one of the new um, reusable, um, I guess, mugs that they have in Starbucks. Now, they were like a dollar. And I really, I mean, I think it's cool. You can get them refilled and save a whopping 10 cents on your next purchase. I thought, really, you're going to say 10 cents? Come on. Crazy, right? But hey, what can you say? So the next thing that I want to share with you is um, I actually initially saw the first one that I purchased, which I saw a video that I think it's, she's called Prissy in Pink um, talking about these. And these are the Sephora. I don't know really what they're called, but they're like the stay on um, lipstick pencils and or like not pencils, but lipsticks. And um, when I saw her, I ran straight out to Sephora to get one of the colors that she had mentioned, which was number 18. And I loved it so much that when the VIP set um, started, I went on and picked up the number 18 or no, I think I have the 16 and I picked up the 18. The eight, I have the 18 and I picked up the 16. That's what it is. And the 16 is what I have on my lips right now. And it is a, it's just an orange color. Um, I don't know, just an orange, I guess is the best way to describe it. But these lipsticks stay on. They do not go anywhere. I mean, as you can tell, I just sipped my coffee. I don't know if you can tell, but there's no lipstick on there, y'all. None whatsoever. So I am loving the lipsticks and they did not dry my lips out. So for me, that was just like angel singing all within itself because I have stated on here so many times. I will state, for, you know, I have the world's driest lips or shall I say, I may be saying one day I had the world's driest lips because right now I don't have dry lips. I am so excited. I have been exfoliating 
morning and night, and sometimes a third time through the middle of the day at some point. I make sure I moisturize. I've been using the, the Bite Beauty um, mask, and I've been using my Mary Kay, and I've been using a conditioner from Estee Lauder. So I have been using those three things on my lips religiously, like twice a day, if not three times a day. So, hey, it's working right now, and these lipsticks aren't drying my lips out. So I don't know which one's working the best, but I'm loving the lipsticks. They're not coming off, and I love that about them. So now the next thing that I want to share with you is going to be, and I'm going, okay, where am I? The next thing I want to share to you, I have worn translucent powders for quite a while now. Ever since all the hype started coming on YouTube about them, I went and checked them out and thought, you know what? Hey, I want to try that. And this time I was setting in Sephora, getting like a little mini makeover, and I thought, you know what, I really want to try just a powder again, just a regular powder, because um, I feel like sometimes translucent powders, I don't know, even though they're translucent, I still feel like sometimes they give you kind of like a ghostly appearance. I don't know. But um, I kind of just wanted to just go back to the old fashioned way of finding a powder and sticking to it. So uh, the girl started talking to me about Sephora ones. I was like, nah, 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 nah. I remember a long time ago, I was using one for Makeup Forever. And I actually kind of liked it, but I bought three different foundations that day from Makeup Forever. And um, that one was to be in, was included in that. And I think I liked that one the least, so I ended up taking it back. Now, why I did, I don't know, because when I put it on the other day, I freaking love it. And that is the um, Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder Foundation. Now, I have the color 214. I'm using it as a setting powder on my face, I use a big brush just to set it, not the little sponge brush that comes inside. And I just kind of dab it over my face. Oh my goodness. I can't even begin to tell you how much I've enjoyed this. Again, I have it on my face right now. Put it on in the morning. Like I said, pat it around my face. I have been wearing the Urban Decay setting spray faithfully. I just decided I was going to, I've had it in my collection for a while, using it on and off. I've been using that like pretty much like every day. Yeah, pretty much for about a week now, loving it. But this, I don't have to touch up because, you know, I don't want to have like that cakey face. And when I first put this on, I felt like, oh my goodness, I'm getting the cakey face. And then I remember that's what powder do for you. So I was like, uh-uh, girl, stop. Think about it. You got some sprays in there. You can you know, do a little spritzing and see if that helps. It worked like a charm. So it gives me that little glow look. And I even got several compliments on this particular powder since I've been wearing it. So I am going to keep this one in my collection. It will not go back. And I'm enjoying using it so far. Now we're going to move into, well, I was probably going to purchase these anyway, but they were just a little bit of a splurge. You know what I mean? Like I, I yeah, okay. I'm trying to justify it. Can you get me? But I love them. And I really just bought like, one of them first and then I was like oh but I really want the other one and believe it or not and I can't even believe that I bought a red lipstick or because mainly because I I I like red lipsticks but then I always say red lipsticks are just red like I don't know like I always have felt like they're just red what can I say but I will say that on Facebook a few weeks ago I heard one of my friends was showing me this little thing about um the Kat Von D underage red lipstick. And they were like, oh, you know, all these comments were being made, which I find to be totally ridiculous, by the way, in my opinion, that is because it's the name of a lipstick and underage red. What is it an implying? Absolutely nothing. Red is not the color that it was a hundred years ago. Okay. We have so evolved from that. So I don't know, like, my mother used to have like this thing about red. I remember when I was a little girl, she would always say, you know, red's not for little girls. And then one day, like she put this cute little red dress on me and she goes, oh, my baby girl, you look so beautiful. And she never said it again. I think that was when she had her hail moment of realizing that the color red within itself is not a scent. It means absolutely nothing other than it's the color red. OK, so get over it, people. That was a little rant, by the way. I'm so sorry. But I wanted to try the underage red lipstick. Well, lo and behold, my sweet girl in Sephora, and she's going to hate me because I can't remember her name. And that is really bad. But I love her to death. I love everybody in Sephora, North Star Sephora. Ooh, ooh. I love you guys. You are all so freaking amazing. Every single one of you, including Sheila, who has the same name as me. And she knows who I'm talking about. She knows I love her. Everlasting Blisses. Oh, wow. That's um, that's a lot said there. But um, these are Everlasting Lipsticks. Um, and I got the underage red in this one. This was my first purchase. I ah, come back on color. Um, this was my first purchase um, of the lipstick or the liquid lipstick, I should say. 
It is a beautiful color. They have another one that's red, but um, they look just alike on the lips. They look different in the tubes, but on the lips, I think they kind of look the same. The girl did say that she thought mine looked a little bit more orangey red, which is what they were supposed to look like, but on her lips, they look the same. I don't know, but I do like this red. Um, I probably won't, I, well, you know, like I said, I still think red is red. Like I haven't found the red that really stood out. Other than there was a red from Lancome, it was a lipstick that was an orangey red. It was a beautiful orangey red, but that one was discontinued years ago and I wore the heck out of that lipstick. But I am loving these. I will say that these bad boys, they go on freaking smoother than anything I've ever tried. I mean, like these two things are like in total competition of each other. This is $13. These are $20. These are very limited in colors, like the bright colors. These have tons of beautiful colors. So, hey, hey, you know, I don't know what to say. And I do like the fact that these are liquid lipsticks. I, I don't know. There's something about these that I just think are amazing. But that is what it looks like. Ah, I love it, love it, love it. And again, guess what? They don't dry my lips out. I've been wearing, I wore this one. I, I've worn every single one of them, by the way, that I'm going to show you today. I had this one on the other day. Love it. I actually had it on in a, in a car vlog video that I did. It was when I was wearing a like red sweater. I don't remember which video it is. And if I can figure out how to do that whole Lincoln thing, I may link that video so that you guys can check it out. But I won't promise you because I suck at doing all that. Oops, I just dropped something. Sorry. Okay, so the next one that I got, which I tried these both on the same day, it's Berlin. Oh my goodness. I think Berlin is so beautiful. It is a, it's actually very much like the number 18 in the Sephora brand, a little bit more pinky than coral, whereas that one is a little bit more coral than pink. Oh man, I did that pretty good without screwing it up. That's amazing for me. And that's what that one looks like. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Again, stays on the lips. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Love it. I've had this one on as well. And it's also in one of my videos. And I don't remember which one, but I've worn this one as well. And I love it, love it, love it. Um, actually, this one has not been worn yet. I was wearing the sample. I tried it on in the store and I left out of the store wearing it and wore it all day. Had lunch, did everything, never came off. Ah, oh, love it. Now, this one totally surprised me when I purchased it. And I'll have to be honest, this one wasn't purchased from VIB. I I, I read VIB when I was um, spending all my money doing Sephora time, VIB time. So because I read VIB, that was a tongue twister, I got an extra 10% off coupon. And so the whole Sephora thing had ended when I happened to kind of go thumping in there. And I saw this color and I thought, you know what? Eee! It's so out of my character, but I don't know. I'm just liking the, I like the formula and I'm just feeling a little freakish. You know what I'm saying? So because I was feeling a little freakish, the girl went on and got her little freak on and so to speak. So I got love, L-U-V and look at this bad boy. It's purple. Yes, it's purple. <laughs> I have a purple lipstick. I cannot believe it. And it honestly, um, it doesn't look quite as purple on the um, lips as it does here, but it is beautiful. Like I got so many compliments. I wore to work on Friday. I can't believe I did. I was just like, should I, should I, should I? And I did. And I got a lot of compliments on it. So I think it's a keeper. I can't believe I did it, but I am liking it a lot. So it's not quite as intense as it looks. So if you all would like me to do a video on this one, like one day when I'm wearing it, do some splotches of it or whatever, I would be more than happy to do so because I can't believe that I bought this lipstick, but I'm so happy that I did. Now, the next two items that I'm going to share with you are just freaking splurges, like all around splurges. And they were purchased on the Sephora, Sephora VIB sale. Like I was just like, you know what? One of them I had been planning on getting and honestly had seen it in the store. I shared it with you with my wish list been seeing it in the store, but just didn't, you know, didn't even try it on, which is crazy. I don't even know why. Like I never would try it on. I think it was because I was afraid I was going to like it and then I would want to purchase it and I didn't want to spend the $58 to get it. But I did tell myself that I would get it whenever I was able to get a Sephora coupon. So guess what? I got a Sephora VIP coupon and I got it. I'm so excited. Yay! And it is the Hourglass <sighs> Ambient palette. Oh, I love this palette. It is everything that I thought it would be and more. Now I am into bright lips this summer and I'm also into glowing this summer. While I want my matte, dual matte powder on my face and I love me some matte foundations, I still want to glow, but I don't want to shine. I just want to glow. 
And this palette does all of that for me. I love this palette. Let me figure out how to open it. La, 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 la. I am so happy. Now, see, I'm not one of those people that's going to get into trying to figure out how to wear every single one of them and which way and all that. I just figure out, okay, let me put it on my face and see what happens. So I dabbed every, my brush in every color and I have every color on my face right now. Like I just kind of swirled it across my face, like, you know, highlighting the cheekbone area, them high cheekbones of mine, those Indian cheekbones of mine. Yay, yay, yay. But I just, and I, again, I don't know. I think it's a combination of like these two together that make me glow in a certain way because I keep getting compliments from everyone and especially the Sephora team. Like they're like, what are you doing to your skin, girl? You look absolutely amazing. And I want to say it's the ambient or the duo fit matte. I don't know, combination, whatever. I love it, love it, love it. So this was my all in out freaking, 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 freaking splurge. But I am so happy, so, so happy. Yes, yes, yes. And the next thing I kind of splurged on, and I had seen this before. And I wanted to try Marc Jacobs lipstick and I kept kind of talking myself out of it because I was like $30. But I went back in there. Um, <sighs> I like this color. What can I say? And again, it's like it's that corally color. And it's so funny because last summer I was on the quest to find the perfect coral that wasn't um, a shimmery finish because every time I would find one, it would be either a shimmery finish or it would be... Um, like so almost translucent to where it didn't really give me that look that I was looking for. I wanted it to be matte, but I didn't want it to be cakey matte. So um, yeah, so I kind of like mastered that today. Um, I've got the Sephora one, I've got the Kat Von D, and now I have, and this one is, don't tear up box. Hey, I don't want you to tear. I hate when boxes do that. It's like, okay, there we go. We're just gonna go to the other end. And this is the So Sophia. Oh my goodness, and Marc Jacobs, 88. Let me show you the box. Yay. I am so loving this lipstick. And again, I've worn this one too. You can see it got my little lips on there. But yes, this is a beautiful color. This is far brighter than all of the other ones. Like this one's like in your face bright, but I like it because I like in your face bright because I'm in your face. You know what I'm saying? And it stays on. It goes on really smooth. It doesn't like, you know, leave your lips all like chalky looking or anything like that it is beautiful it goes on beautifully it stays on it's not it's not the everlasting lipsticks and it's not the sephora brand as far as like it doesn't like it does come off a little bit on like you know on your straw and things like that but it it's on there like it doesn't it it does still last a great length of time like oh love it now the next thing that I'm going to share with you is right over here. Where is it? Where is it? And it is, um, oh, I almost forgot. Wait, before I go to that, I missed one thing. And this was in the, I need to get items. I can't believe I left it off. Oh my gosh. So we're going to kind of revert back to where I knew I was going to have to repurchase sooner or later. Now I do have tons of foundations. I'd be the first one to tell you. Of course I do. I'm a makeup junkie, but the Becca foundation in Amber it's like my holy grail foundation. When I tried that one, I heard angels singing. I was like, yes, 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 yes. Now, I do love me some Estee Lauder Double Wear. I do love me some um, Kat Von D, and I think I'm number 76, I believe. I do love that one. I love, I have one by um, Lauren Mercier that is Amber also. The Amber works for me for some reason. Did I name like all my foundations? like all my top foundations, I think I did. But the Becca, oh, and I know my Becca is like almost out and I can't be without it because this is my go back to one. I didn't, I did several other ones I didn't name. I just thought about them right now. But I wanted to have another one of these. I wanted to be prepared when I ran out. So the girl just said, you know what? The bad boy costs $44. You're going to get it on the VIB sale and you're going to make it a necessity. So it was a necessity for me, you know, slash I know I don't really need because I have tons of foundations that I can use, but I don't want to ever be without the Becca because I love the Becca, the Becca. You like how I say that? The next item that I'm going to share with you is my Mother's Day present. It came a little early. Honestly, I haven't actually worn this item yet. I've been wearing my sample because they hooked me up with some samples. I was torn between the pink and the green. I still want the pink. And if the pink comes in before the, my 30 days expire on me, re -B -I -B -N. that just sounds so weird, re -B -I -B -N. okay, however you say it, 
then I still may go ahead and, you know, jump the broom and get the pink one too. Ooh, that would be terrible, but I, won't, I may just do it. I'm out of perfumes. Like I'm not out, but I have the two, the three. Yeah, the three that I wear all the time. I don't really have a lot of perfumes. Like I said, I have like three. I get a lot of samples because I can't ever make up my mind which one I want. But I have been sampling these perfumes for like, gosh, ever since I saw them in Sephora. And there's a couple of them that I just freaking love. And um, yeah, I really wanted to purchase the pink one, but they were sold out in the size, in the smaller size. So I went to the green, which happens to be a favorite as well. And it is a... Uh, ooh, ooh, the I Love New York Bonds number nine. Oh, and this is the one that's, I think, Earth Earth Day. Yes, this one's called Earth Day. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. This is my Mother's Day present, and my phone is ringing. I'm so sorry. It was a early Mother's Day present gift for me. If I can get the box open, I'll show it to you. It's a very small bottle. I, for some reason, did not realize this bottle was going to be this small, but it's okay because I still love it anyway. It is my favorite perfume or shall i say the the two between the pink and the green are my favorite perfumes i can't right now say one i like one over the other but i went on and got the green because it was there on the shelf and available for me to get and so yeah so i think i have shared with you literally everything that i got in the sephora vip sale you know what? i'm probably gonna let me go ahead and spritz a little bit of this bad boy on me right now because i don't have any perfume on oh, oh. <laughs> I just sprayed it in my mouth. That was not a good thing. Don't do that. But yeah, so um, I have shared with you everything I have purchased in my Sephora. And I just hit the, the camera. Sorry about that. During the Sephora VIB sale, I hope I gave you some great recommendation, recommendations of things that you should try in the near future or kind of re-innovated some things that you'd already been kind of looking at. And you probably even got some of the same things that I did as well than the Sephora VIP. So feel free to comment below, share with me some of the things that you got, and also share with me if you want to see an uh, in-depth review or want to know when I'm wearing any of these items. I'm more than happy to share that with you. Comment, rate, and subscribe. You are my favorite. Don't forget it. Love you. Have a beautiful Sunday, and don't forget, go Spurs, go! Woohoo!